cease fire for 40 days we are working to release Namde Kanon, Wahaneze, to be a fragitators. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. We are will tell you the truth the way it is. Do not forget that I'm going to analyze this news after I might have finished reading. It is very important that you listen to the end. To avoid saying that you don't know. Now, according to the news, Wahaneze Ndibo, the APS Ibo Social Cultural Organization, has urged be a fragitators to uphold a 40 day ceasefire. Onese said the ceasefire is armed at securing the release of Namde Kano, leader of indigenous people of Biafra Ipo. The fashional secretary general of Onese, Okechuki Siguzuru, said the ceasefire should start from October 31st. In a statement, he signed Ishiguzuru said there are ongoing talks behind the scene on the possibility of Kano's release. According to Ishiguzuru, to facilitate progress in this matter, Hanez Ndibo urged Biafra agitators to uphold a ceasefire for a period of 40 days, refraining from any offensive aggression starting from October 31, 2023. Maintaining discipline among the Biafra agitators is crucial to ensuring the cessation of all offensive art for the designated 40 days period. By doing so, the ongoing conversation behind the scene we have the necessary environment to provide the desired solution for the release of Namde Kano and Ndibo remains in the remains in Dibo of our Igbo idiom that say every soup has a peculiar way of licking it, emphasizing the importance of engaging with relevant authorities through diplomatic channels as the most effective means of achieving the desired result. We employ Ndibo to exercise patience. During this challenging time, we acknowledge the pain and hardship endured by the people of Southeast since the incarceration of Namde Khan. As a custodian of our land, we assured ourselves and our people that positive outcomes are anticipated following the November 2023 most state governorship election. The release of Nandi Kalu will be a surprise package for the Southeast. The body also appealed to Nigerians. Kano might have offended to extend forgiveness and allow the greater interests of Nigerians to prevail. The restoration of peace and security in the Southeast is of utmost importance and requires the collective involvement of all stakeholders. Honest Ndibo remains committed to working behind the scene. Governing all relevant parties to achieve these essential objectives, he added. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis. First of all, Okechukwu Isinguro should hide his face in shame. He talked about Namde Kalo offended some people in Nigeria. He thought about seizing fire. The question is, who is firing and who is seizing the fire? Biafra agitation is not a criminally minded agitation. When we want to talk about criminally minded and terrorism, we know those that we should refer to, not Biafra agitators that Hernan de Carlo is leading. Kano created the Stand Security Network, no doubt. He created IPOB, no doubt. And he have never denied that, even as he is still in DSS custody. This is because IPOB are responsible people. This is also because Eastern Security Network was created for a reason. And that reason is checkmate planet terrorists who comes into our land to kill our people. You see what they have done in Benue State. The killing, the massacre, and everything. Even with the people that Totem recruited. That to show you that there is hand of Mieti Allah of Nigeria and Hedas who he uses as terrorist group 
to manipulate and kill people in Nigeria. It's not from me. I believe you are not forgotten. When the media claimed that yes, those he accepted it, that those that are murdered innocent Benue people, we are his people. That they did that because their car was attacked by the community. That is more reason why those who see cows as superior than human being should go and have their own country and let those who respect human life be alone in their own country. No doubt that in the Kano is fighting for freedom of the Africans. But he did not commit any crime. Talk about offending anybody in Nigeria. He did not offend the government. Rather, the government had been the one offending the Igbos by adding the Janja weed, by recruiting the terrorists into the military to use them against the Igbo nation, by killing so many Igbo youth. What is happening today in Nigeria if that is as it is in Igbo land, believe me, no Igbo man will be alive to say the story. A man that calls himself a vice president that is recognized today. Somewhere in the internet, an audio message communicating with a European man. They were planning actually how to destroy Igbos and their land. But upon that, today he is a vice president and you recognized him. The same man that sold the Chibok gears to the hand of Boko Haram while he was a governor. Upon that today, you recognize him as vice president. I will not discuss about any boost pass, about his drug dealings. Because as far as I'm concerned, he's not a president of Nigeria. But somehow he came into office illegally with the help of the neck and Bukhari government because they have a mission that they could not finish, they want him to finish. And that mission is to continue to oppress Biafrans to keep them down even though when Nigeria is not moving forward. But that is unacceptable. All these men that call themselves Igbo men who call themselves billionaires may continue to deceive themselves because they have different businesses in different places in Nigeria but they will not fool the Igbo nation. That is why when I look at Okechuku symbols I laugh. First of all, Nande Kano was kidnapped brutally, illegally, ruggedly back to Nigeria with the help of Kenya former president, with the assistance of well trained men that they now call missionaries. As far as I'm concerned, everything about missionaries, you will not mention about them because I have been there. But the truth is this. Namde Kala was brought to Nigeria by well-trained people, but for missionary, that I don't know. Now, since he was brought back to Nigeria, the court of Nigeria has set him free. Several courts let him go according to them. He did not commit any crime. Upon that, Buhari refused to release him. This Buhari is a man who recruited terrorists from different parts of African country, brought them to Nigeria, in the name of fighting to become a president. And after the election, he could not tempt them. That is what he has seen today. And he has given that particular mission to Bola Medinibu. And this is why he cannot see him going after the so-called land terrorists. Rather, he's busy burning down Igbo houses in Igbo land because of one unknown government, murders on few soldiers. Is this not madness and witches and wizard? This is what I'm talking about. So, Kachuku Shungo should hide his face in shame. No doubt, Nigerian government are the ones holding Namde Khan. No doubt, some Igbo men also that call themselves governors have hand in his continued detention. But that. We are going to do something rash soon that you may ever think. 
as far as we are concerned and the canon has been set free by court of law and i believe so much in the law but since nigerian government has refused to list them prison and so many other Biafran because nigerian government does not believe in nigerian law but they want the civilians to believe in it nigerian government does not believe in constitution of nigeria but they want the civilians to believe in it this is unacceptable if you as a leader cannot believe in the constitution you claim you made or you claim people made people of nigeria made then why should i believe in such constitution if you don't obey the court orders that says this man is a freedom fighter you should allow him go then why should i obey the judiciary you have to live by example those you rule you should live and show them example exemplary life that is what life is all about so when you cannot do that that means you are not qualified to be any president of any country this is why i dislike him not because of the way he came into office because not the first person who has come into office through rigging he came into office since almost seven months now he had refused to release those that court of law has set free this is why i dislike Tinubu so much and this has to bring me to what i said a few months ago that buhari gave him the listening ear and the british government to become a president of nigeria in fact they forced him into asorok just to make sure that he, he do their bidding and that bidding is to continue to keep nam the khan in custody and continue to keep Belfast down but that is unacceptable and we are watching so all those men that call themselves for hanese and whatever he calls himself should hide themselves face in shape nam the khan was set free by court of law and nigerian court said let him go send him back to where he get him from what happened buhari kept him Tribu letter coming, came in, I mean, and he continued to keep him in custody. This is to show you that these people does not give a hook about you or every other person in this country. So far as an evil man, you are going to continue to remain down. That is what they want. No matter how you struggle, they will continue to keep you down. This contraction is destroyed. And British government added in destroying it. They would turn red to white they will see why they tell the tail is red that's according to fella kuti may his so rest in perfect peace even though his that his jabru son that calls himself whatever does not behave like him now let us go straight to the written nam the kano did not commit any crime against anybody not even in Nigeria. He only asked for a referendum in a balance board. That is the right thing to do. He believed in human rights. And this was why he asked for a referendum in balance board. But Nigerian government see it different way. What they did was massacre more than innocent people. Unarmed. Biafran freedom fighters. This is where all this whole thing started. Upon that number, Carol refused to pick arms rather all he did was to create a secret outfit when the governors of the Ibo land refused to do so while our people are being killed in the bushes in their farmland their own land by some ginger weed from pit of hair i've told you before i don't reject anybody i don't dislike anybody i love flani people i love our people i love yoruba i love Ibos. i love everything in nigeria so far as you are doing the right thing we have so many flannies in Igbo land doing different businesses, changing of money, selling some boutique, making, they're making their money, doing all sorts of business. They are responsible flannies, and I respect them even while I was there. But we cannot tolerate those who has made themselves object of killing others. With the help of Nigerian government. Just like what Bola is doing today, 
by recruiting Asra Dokubo to use him to cause havoc in so many places, just like what Buhari did. This is how the terrorism starts. Tomorrow, you will say, had I known. Igbos have always condemned their people when they are going wrong. This is our style. This is a freedom fighting organization we respect so much with our life. Nandikala has sacrificed so much, so we will not allow anybody to put us under it. We can never drop it. So if you think that we will allow you to destroy the first struggle, you are wasting your time. But again, season of fire, like you said, Nandikano did not create any military. He only created Eastern Security Network, like I said. Um, IPOBs are not firing anybody, talking lots of season fire. And Nandikala has made that clear. So some group of people may create anything, something in our land, call them military. That I don't agree with them because they are not qualified. First of all, you have to show or live by example. Then people will understand that yes, you have arrived. You have come for the, res res for the restoration of Biafra. You have come to rescue your people. You cannot be somewhere in desperate recruiting some criminals in the name of military. And when you don't pay the money today, the Nigerian government will help them and pay them some. They will start causing havoc, just like the way people are dying in our land as we speak. Today we have not less than 20 different groups in our land. The question is, are they Igbo people? <laughs> no, all of them are not Igbo people. So how can you checkmate our land? You that call yourself a military man. Be a military how can you check metal land? You come out to keep five Troy soldiers that they recruited into our land. They, they will come after you, run away. They will kill 30, 50 civilians. If they continue to kill like that, our people will finish. Who is going to remain in that land? They will start flying terrorists in our land. Our land will change the place of where terrorists will be living. Just like what is happening in Palestinian today. Not that they don't have good Palestinians. They have many of them who are good people. But they allow themselves to be threatened by some group of terrorists. They went and beheaded the Israelite children. And retaliation has to start. This is because Israel people have what it takes to retaliate. The question is, those that claim that they are recruiting soldiers in Awala, do they have what it takes to retaliate? If they cannot protect common few civilians, how can they protect Millions of beer friends in Biafra land when the hot started, start, when the heat starts, I mean, that is one thing I dislike about them. And this is why I don't recognize them, I will never. And for information, like I said, if you listen to news, you'll find out that some of them are even threatening them, they can. One of them wear a mask. But when he was doing that threat, I was laughing, actually. Because the guy is kind of guy who doesn't know anything. People like us start at the age of 12 begin use three to check out how Akure small, small short short to know how it works at the age of 12. We use the down of three to check metal our Akure He's a child to threaten Nam the Kala. I give him just two days. Let him just two days. Let Nam the Kala come out from the, the, the detention and order that he must bring to book. Believe me, we have people on the ground that we get him in taken off an eye. In two days, he will be captured. And he will regret ever making such comment against Namde Khan, a man who has sacrificed so many things in this struggle. If he's not afraid, he's not a coward, he calls himself a military. He should have opened his face while threatening Namde Khan that he will kill him. So these are the things people like me dislike. Those who is leading them does not know his left and right. And that is why he is the most highest coward I've ever seen in my life. If I am in that position, then you see this face that has been hidden for so many years. And I am going to, I will cost on kind of that even people will be afraid to come into Igbo land to kill somebody. It's not about making mouth in social media. 
So that is a part. Like I said before, okay, if you think that we were allowed to them to rule Imo State again, he's making a very big mistake. I know this is where he's heading to. For some time now, he has continued to praise Tinibu. Tinibu is not killing anybody in Yoruba land. He's not killing anybody in Fulani land, but every day, our people continue to die. Our, their house are burned down by Nigerian police and soldiers. They will tell you They will tell you that wanting, wanting that some unknown government key soldiers, maybe five or ten soldiers, for this reason, they have to catch some of them and kill them while they are busy killing innocent civilians who didn't commit any crime. That is one thing I heard about this thing. And this is because they are terrorists recruited by Buhari government. I expected Tinibu to. Checkmate those terrorists recruited and sent Ibo land to remove them from Ibo land in the name of military and send them where they're supposed to belong. Prison yard. They we are terrorists. They can never repent. But it's only in Nigeria that things like this happen. And somebody somewhere is telling Nigerians to forgive them the call those who offend them. Is it not madness? Or should I call it a witch and wizard? None the did not offend anybody. He only asked for a referendum. If Nandika really wanted to create army in Igbo land to checkmate all these terrorists that are sending with military in our land, believe me, what you'll be seeing is what is happening between Israel and Palestinians today. Nandika wanted the Biafra struggle to come in peace without the drop of blood of so many drops of blood of our people. Because no matter what you do, people must die because Nigerian government are beast. But he doesn't want it to take the so much blood of Biafrans. In few years that he's in custody, you have seen how many Biafrans that have been killed. Because some people call themselves a non government. They will come out and kill some few soldiers, they will run. And the soldiers retaliate and kill so many innocent civilians. And when they are killed, then they will tell you they will use one criminal among the same Yibo nation to confess that, yes, they are the ones that attack them. But uh, fortunately, some was uh, some escaped, uh, some died. This is the thing that our people are doing, and this is why I told you that these people they don't have liver; they are not well trained. Even small boys that my boys are trained cannot try such thing. Even if that will lead to their death, even though they are the one that committed it. He would prefer to die alone. That is what is called being a hard man. I'm not here to discuss things like this. Why I'm saying this is because of Bruce, you go and examine his head. None the color was set free. All they needed to do as evil people, since they refused to listen to me, is to sue the government of Nigeria in ICC. They are not above ICC. To come and explain why they have refused to listen to the color, the court of law has set free. But they did not do that. They're here making noise, telling you that and I, uh, some kind uh, 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 whatever is going on. They are doing something to listen to the cannon, but for that, they have to cease fire. Who is seizing the fire? Because what I'm concerned about the cannon not create any military in Igbo land. And ESN is not causing any problem. IPP is not causing any problem. So who is seizing the fire? If it is not madness, you guys should wake up and grow up. And uh, here somewhere in the internet, we are some useless unknown government. Because I have to continue to say they call them useless because until the day they learn how to behave, comport themselves. That's just the only time I understand that they are now well trained, they know what they are doing. First of all, they have to stop going around killing their own people. If they believe they are not the one killing them, they should checkmate those who are killing them and get rid of them. That is it. One. Second. They claim that they, they have no election in most state. If they are claiming they have no election in most state, the same thing we are talking about. This is because they have come to hear that the Eastern group said that uh, they should cease fire. 
to enable the laser from Namde Kano. That I don't agree with anybody because Namde Kano is not fighting anybody, neither is IP fighting anybody. Namde Kano did not create any soldier or any military in Biafra land. So these are just nonsense jokes. Tinibu is the one holding Namde Kano. And he knows better to release him. He knows that he should release him. Unless he wants to throw the side of his predecessor who does not believe in the justice of Nigeria, who does not believe in the constitution of Nigeria. And let him go ahead. Time shall come when we will no longer enjoy it. And something will begin to happen. But for the Imo state, gubernatorial election, <laughs> when I listen to this unknown government ranting like fools, there are no election in Imo state. Is this not madness? I even prefer that in this one did not hold presidential election did not hold Nibo land than say there's no election in Imo state. Unless maybe you have a plan to kidnap the purpose of them. Because that's the only thing it can do. And even when you go ahead to do that, you have to make sure you plan someone that will be that people will vote for that will be the governor of Imo state. To make sure that the same governor get rid of all those criminals and throw from different parts of the country that are now actually in our land. If I tell you now that some even some Malian Fulanis are in our land, you will not believe that. Nigerian government brought them in. After the war boys are in our land. So what are you talking about? You are just few of you, treated by some idiot. No good arms. What I see every day moving around, we take care of the seven. Even the machine guns locally. It doesn't even have better chain. It doesn't even have anything. What are you talking about? Not them at all. And they are busy making noise. So how will you protect the Igbo nation? Let's assume something starts today. That's what we are talking about. If you check what you have and what Flanitroids have, even I'm not comparing them with you, unless you want to compare yourself to them, as a non government you are, you will find out that you don't even have half, quarter of what they have upon that. You are making noise. So, where is the home money that the Biafrans are contributing? Where is it? You guys should be ashamed of yourself. Those of you who are in Igbo land, making noise, call yourself a soldier, moving with AK-47. What will AK-47 do? How many rounds is in AK-47? We should tell ourselves the truth. And for those of you, like I said, who are threatening Namde Kano, first of all, Namde Kano will never drop your agitation. Second, you are in big trouble. If you come out today and tell us to fish you out, believe me, you are going to be fished out. So many people are there on the ground. Just, you are there making noise. I don't really know where you are now. You are there making noise. But you don't know that there are so many people around who know exactly who you are. Every woman you see, not all, anyway, in Despera, some of them have men on the ground, but they continue to pretend. Be careful. What comes out from your mouth? You threaten the whole of Hamadike. You're not afraid. Because you are wearing a mask. You are know why you are wearing a mask. Because if you didn't wear a mask, that same day you did say that will be the same day you will die. Be careful, my brother. Now, Ishingus, like I said before, should watch himself. Nobody wants to be my back. I know that this is their plan. They want us to become he must the governor again. But he's wasting his time. We know who is holding Namde Khan. He's Bola Medinibu. He is the overall as far as we're concerned. What he says goes. And this is because in Nigeria today, judiciary have no say. Because the presidency have been the ones controlled the judiciary. That is why those of you who are saying we are going to Supreme Court, going to court to, to judge the book case. I laugh. Tribu is now your president. And he is going to remain there. He's not going. Because the Supreme Court also will continue to keep him there. Because he controls Supreme Court, not the other way around. I think I've come to the end of this news. 
Jay Piafra. <laughs>